Hello, hello, it's Monica and in today's video I'm going to show you three cards using free gift from Simply Cards and Papercraft issue 227. As you can see during this video I'm going to show you all those three cards and what's really good about Simply Cards and Papercraft issue 227 that it has lots of absolutely stunning ideas in the magazine and on page number 15 you can actually find my projects I created using a free gift from the previous magazine and if you're interested in all those free projects I will link them during this video. In the magazine you can also find free stamp set and embossing folder collection and this one is called Birds of a Feather and I couldn't resist because the color palette is simply stunning and this embossing folder is simply wow so I thought yes I got the magazine because I subscribed to it so I decided to create three cards straight away as you can see it also has some sentiments and design papers they are absolutely gorgeous and perfect for any quick makes and what's very special about this issue that they also included two pieces of gold glitter card oh my gosh this gold glitter card is simply wow in the magazine you can also find a link to design paper so you can actually print it if you want and with the sentiments I actually printed one on A4 and then I made it slightly smaller so I've got variation if I need smaller sentiments. To create my first card I'm going to use 300 GSM white card and I'm going to use lightweight circle cutter by Made to Surprise. I do it because I don't really have big circle nesting dice and this is the option for me. If you have big circle nesting dice you can create that project really easily. Now I'm going to make slightly smaller circle and this way I will have really nice white border and I'm going to create one more circle using the design paper. As you can see the design papers are absolutely amazing and if you actually download those papers you can print as many as you want. Now, when we've got all those three panels ready, it is time to assemble all of them. So, I'm going to fold my bigger circle in half and using my bone folder, I'm going to burnish that fold line. And this way, we are actually creating a rocker card. Have you ever made a rocker card? If you haven't, this set is absolutely stunning and so easy to use, so I really encourage you to have a go at this. Now I decided to distress the edges of the smaller white circle and also the design paper. As you can see, I'm using blade of my scissors because I found this is the easiest way to do it. Super simple. Now I'm going to add a little bit of color and this time I'm going to use Distress Oxide ink in Broken China. I wonder, have you ever used any peacock stamps or that color palette if you have please let me know what did you create i really want to know and also i really hope that this video will inspire you to create beautiful makes with the free gift with simply cuts and paper craft issue 227 now as you can see i'm using my pencil to make a mark because i want to make sure that my design paper actually goes well on the card base and this is the easiest way to do it however if you have better trick let me know in the comments now i decided to use a slightly smaller piece of ribbon just for more interest as you can see i'm using satin ribbon and to adhere it i decided to use a red liner tape because it sticks so quickly and it works so well with ribbons do you have a better trick for adhering ribbons on your cards please let me know if you do now when this is ready i'm going to adhere it and then I'm going to assemble my panels together because I want my ribbon to look professionally finished on my project. Now, I'm going to use my magic glue, liquid glue, because I absolutely love it and it is so amazing with all the paper craft projects. Now it is time to stamp our beautiful peacock. And I decided to actually heat emboss it with gold embossing powder. So as usual I'm using my embossing uh, buddy and I'm going to use Versamark ink which is clear transparent 
and yes we're going to stamp that peacock and use that gold embossing powder if you have made pico cards did you use gold or black embossing powder or maybe use different technique please let me know in the comments i absolutely want to know when this is ready i'm going to heat set it with my heat tool i usually heat set it for around 10 to 15 seconds before i start melting that embossing powder i'm not really sure how well you can see it in the video but in real life that gold embossing powder it's just so sparkly and beautifully. To color in my peacock, I decided to use zig markers. As you can see, I'm starting with the lightest green, then I'm adding a little bit of darker green and using wet paintbrush, I'm going to blend those colors together. And when this is ready, I'm going to apply all the other colors. And I, to be honest, I really have to admit it. Last week, I went to Kew Gardens for the Orchid Festival. And after visiting the Orchid Festival, I went for a walk with a friend and we actually saw a peacock. So I had to make some cuts straight away when I got my subscription magazine. I just couldn't resist because I still remember the peacock from Saturday. It was absolutely beautiful. And I really wanted to use the same colors as I saw on Peacock. That's why I decided to use that beautiful light blue, darker blue, and a little bit of purple on the head of the Peacock. If you have made a card with Peacocks, please let me know what color medium did you use to color it in? Did you use alcohol markers, aqua markers, or maybe you use pencils? I'm really curious. Now, as you can see, I don't really need cutting dice for my images. I'm simply using my scissors. Now, to back up that beautiful peacock and to give it more strength, I decided to create a panel behind. And for this, I'm going to uh, create a circle, again from 300 GSM white card and from the design paper. And now we are going to emboss that beautiful element and it will give you so much dimension on your project so if you have that magazine please emboss some of the panels as you can see you don't really have to use rectangular shapes with embossing folders you can use any shapes you want and now to add a little bit of color to my embossed panel i decided to use wilted violet and broken china and again when all those elements are ready i'm going to adhere them on my card base using my magic glue one and only glue when this is ready it is time to adhere a peacock and also with the ribbon i was looking at it and i thought oh there is something missing so off camera i actually created a small bow and i'm going to adhere it using 3d gel glue if you have a better trick how to adhere bows to your cuts please let me know so our cut is nearly done we just have to choose one of the sentiments and for this one i decided to use happy birthday and i actually use double-sided tape uh, because I wanted to give it a little bit more dimension and yes I had to add gold gems I just couldn't resist and they work so well with that heat embossed panel super beautiful and it does rock I hope you will like this card and now let's jump into card number two now I've got 19 and a half by 16 centimeters panel and I'm going to score it at eight centimeters and this way we actually created a slimline card super simple isn't it now with your embossing um, folder you can actually decorate it but for this card, I decided to use the design papers and that gold glitter card. So I, as you can see, I created two strips, very narrow, and that will give me the embellishment on the card. Now with the design paper, I'm going to use it as a background and then adhere the gold glitter card on top for extra shine. So as you can see, you don't really need to use the whole glitter card straight away. You can actually use small pieces of it. So if you have any glitter card, don't throw it away. You can always use those scraps to embellish your beautiful makes. And I really encourage you to do it. As you can see, even narrow strips add so much to your cards. 
Off camera I also uh, heat embossed and colored in my peacock with the same zig markers. I absolutely love that color palette and I simply couldn't resist. I wonder what do you think about those blues, purples and greens together? Would you like to give this uh, color palette a go? I really hope you will. Now for the sentiment I decided to use that small one which says you're fabulous and I backed it up with the same gold glitter card and again as you can see you don't really need that much and to give it more dimension I decided to use double-sided foam adhesive and yes it really makes a difference especially with sentiments so as you can see this card was super quick and simple and yes we do have to add these gold gems and our card is finished please let me know what do you think about card number two now let's move on to card number three again i'm going to use my lightweight circle cutter and i'm going to create a base and this time i'm going to cut two circles one for the front and one for the back with the same dimension and then we are going to create other panels. So that will be our card base. And now I'm going to use that gold glitter card and I'm going to create a bigger circle and then smaller circle, which will be in the middle. You don't really need to see how I do it because you already seen how to cut those circles out. But again, if you don't have that lightweight circle cutter, you can use nesting dice and I can save those two extra for my other projects. Now I'm going to create another circle and this time I decided to use that design paper. And again, if you have that magazine and when you download those digi papers, you can print and print them over and over and you can use them for lots of different projects. It doesn't have to be for uh, any pico cut it can be literally for anything and as you can see that gold glitter card works so well with the design papers so it was such a pleasure to work with all those elements now as you can see i'm adding those gold circles on my card and that will be the panel and for this card my idea was for the peacock to float so I'm going to emboss that beautiful feathers here and that will be in the background. And again, I'm going to use my Distress Oxide inks to add a little bit of color. And for this one, I decided to use twist Twisted Citron, Broken China and Wilted Violet. And I really love that color palette. I really wish that Twisted Citron was more green uh, when I was recording it but in real life it is so beautiful. It is very light green color and I absolutely love it. Now to create our card base, I'm using my scoreboard to create a flap. And yes, as simple as it is, we actually have the card base using the same circles. So as you can see, I'm just using my uh, liquid glue and it is ready as a card base. Now, we have to start embellish, embellishing the card. So first I'm starting with my embossed panel using liquid glue and then I'm going to use loads of double-sided foam adhesive on the back and I actually use two layers for extra dimension. And just to make sure that all the elements will be adhered on this card, I'm using a little bit of liquid glue. Now, as you can see, this circle floats a little bit and that's exactly what I wanted. Now it is time to adhere a peacock. So what you can actually do um, in the middle of the peacock you can use a little bit of double-sided tape just to make sure it is secure on your card and it actually won't change the shape if you decide to send that card by post but if you want you can also hand deliver your beautiful make to someone. Okay, when our peacock is adhered, yes, we do have to choose one of the sentiments and I just couldn't resist. And yes, I did have to add all those gems and I actually put them exactly where the gold dots were. So yes, our third cut is ready and I really wonder which one is your favorite? Which one would you like to give it a go? Or maybe you have absolutely different idea for your makes using birds of a feather 
free gift from Simply Cuts and Papercraft issue 227. Thank you so much for watching and staying with me that long. I really hope you enjoyed this video, so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in my next video. Bye for now!